Hi, my name's Tom, and I'm here with my new Yeshimi uh, TV stand, Credenza. It's a sliding door variation, and we'll talk all about this. So let's first real, real quick talk about the dimensions. Uh, it is about 28 inches tall, about 58 inches wide. And the nice thing about this that we actually really like this, it's only 16 inches deep. So it's actually uh, not as deep as some other credenzas and, and TV stands. Uh, it is a heavy credenza. It weighs about 82 pounds when it's delivered. Uh, so my son and I had to actually lift it together to kind of get it in the door and get it all opened up. If you've built furniture before, uh, this won't be anything too new or special about it. Uh, it has those little bolts that you kind of use screwing with a screwdriver. And then you have the little, uh, the little round nuts that kind of go in the holes and they twist and lock. Uh, it does come with Allen wrenches. It comes with a screwdriver as well. So you may want to use your own. For two of us, it took us about an hour and a half to build. Uh, the instruction manual actually suggests leaving two hours for build time, um, but it took us about 90 minutes start to finish to kind of take it all out of the box, get the instructions, get all the parts, and then go ahead and build it. Delivery was easy. It actually came a little bit early. The uh, pieces were all in good condition. I have uh, missing no pieces. You know, they actually give you one or two of each extra screw just, so you, just in case you lose them. Uh, we have one little tiny ding on one board. Uh, but because we used the darker color, I was able to get a black magic marker and just boop, like that and just cover it up. Uh, but everything came out really well. It was packed really well. Uh, our box came in great condition. So there it is. So let's talk about the sliding doors. Uh, the doors do slide. They're actually on little rollers, these little rollers. And the doors can actually come off the roller. Uh, you can't lift them off while they're here. But there's a little screw you unscrew. And you can take the doors off if you don't want the doors. You do not need to put the doors on. They are not required, but they are nice. If you do not have the doors on, you may want to still keep the wooden bar or the metal bar on. This metal bar will just go ahead and kind of keep it uh, looking nice. There are some screw holes that will be uh, obvious if you don't put the bar on. As you can see, it's got a nice little uh, shelf here in the middle. This shelf is not adjustable, and each back had, does have a hole for cords. So the whole idea is you put your VCR and your game system, your cable box, all that stuff onto one of these two, and you run the cords in the back to an outlet back there. Just for measurement purposes, the bottom rack gives you about uh, 10 inches of height, and the upper shelf gives you uh, just about 11 inches of height, just in case you want to put anything particular in there. It's actually a little higher on the inside, so probably... 13 inches on the, or 12, 12 or 13 inches on the top and 10 inches on the bottom. Now, the side pieces, the side shelves, these are actually adjustable to some extent. As you can see, you've got little holes here. You can move the pegs. This just slides in and out. You can move those pegs to go ahead and put them up or down. And then the shelves just slide in. You don't need to put the shelves in, but we do. We haven't put anything on this yet. We plan to put a TV on it. We plan to have uh, all of our videotapes and uh, DVDs kind of in the side here and then we'll keep the system open just like that so you can just go ahead and open it up grab what you want and then slide them back and then you put something into the system and it'll play if you're going to use it as a tv stand that's fine uh it looks, it looks like it's going to work really well uh it's rated for holding tvs up to 65 inches that's diagonally so a 65 inch tv it will hold there were a lot of questions about the actual weight and how much it will hold uh, according to the actual manual right here it says it will hold, let's see, max load, 220 pounds on top, and then the middle shelf here will only hold about 20 pounds. Uh, I would not put 220 pounds of anything onto uh, furniture like this. You might want to top it out at about 100 or 150 at the most. Uh, my son, who weighs well over 100, he actually did sit on it, and it was totally fine. Uh, but you might not want to push that. Uh, it does. It is pretty sturdy. Once you start putting some weight on this, it will stay still. But obviously, if you're going to use a large screen TV, you do want to be careful because anyone can run into those TVs. They're nice and thin and they can fall over very easily. So just be careful with this. Uh, but it is rated for 65 inch TVs and it can hold up to 220 pounds. Uh, overall, the quality of this credenza is really, really nice. Yes, it is particle board. Yes, it's MDF. Yes, it's covered. But that's what most furniture is today. And this is one of the nicer, tougher pieces that I've seen. Uh, it's not super heavy. You gain 85 pounds for a package, but for a piece of wood this, or for a piece of furniture this big, that's not too bad at all. Uh, there's no solid wood as far as I can tell. It's all MDF stuff, uh, but it does fit together fairly well. It is tight. Uh, there's no loose pieces. There's nothing falling off. There's nothing jangly. Uh, it is a pretty tight, well-designed piece of furniture.